Do I call to order the uh, Monday, December 20th, 2021 meeting of the Hammond Plan Commission. Would you please join with me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you all. Uh, Mrs. Morris Smith, would you please call the roll? Roger Brock. Here. Michael Dye. Here. Ann Herbert. Annie. Oops. I don't think she can hear you uh, very well on the Here. microphone. Here. She was muted. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we hear you. Okay. Thank you. William Hutton. Here. Thomas Kazmierzak. Here. Dan Spitali. Here. Sharon Zaney. M Marcus Taylor. Here. Dean Button. Here. Eight present. We have a quorum. Thank you, Mrs. Morris Smith. Uh, next item on the uh, agenda uh, is the approval of meeting minutes passed. Uh, so I would entertain a motion to approve the, me the meeting minutes for uh, September 20th, 2021, October 4th, 2021, October 18th. 2021 and November 15th, 2021. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Thank you, Commissioner Dye. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by uh, Councilman Spitali to approve the meeting minutes uh, of the four uh, previously mentioned meetings. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Uh, roll call on the motion. Roger Brock. Yes. Michael Dye. Yes. Ann Herbert. Yes. William Hudden. Yes. Thomas Kazmierzak. Yes. Dan Spitali. Yes. Marcus Taylor. Yes. Dean Button. Yes. Eight ayes, zero nays, zero abstentions, motion back. <coughs> Thank you. Next item is item four, old business. Is there any old business for the plan commission? Uh, there is no old business. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Poland. Next item, item five, new business, uh, CP. 21-18, a petition of the Hammond Board of Public Works and Safety to reclassify property at 5230 Holman Avenue from S1 Open Space and Recreation Recreational District to C3 Central Business District to correct the zoning and allow for future development within the city of Hammond, Lake County, Indiana. Mrs. Morris-Smith, have the notification requirements for this petition been met? Yes, they have. Thank you very much. Uh, if there are no objections, uh, the chair would entertain uh, approval from the board to allow Mr. Poland to act not only as the petitioner, but also as uh, staff in this case. Is, is there any objection by the board? No objections noted. Mr. Poland, please proceed. Okay, um, and for the record, the Board of Public Works and Safety is the official petitioner and they've authorized um, this uh, rezoning petition to go forward. The uh, subject property has the address of 5230 Holman Avenue. It is the parcel that has the fountain sculpture on it. Everybody should be familiar with it. A little bit of the background is that um, prior to um, when, gold, when the Gold Blast building was still standing and um, the, you know, obviously before the fountain, uh, Rimbach Street per was perpendicular to Holman Avenue and the Gold Blast building um, pretty much um, lay, laid across the current relocated street. Once the Gold Blast building was torn down, that provided an opportunity at that time to make a connection um, with having a four-way intersection and then that's what created the parcel for the fountain. And then um, there was a, uh, um, an artist that developed the fountain. And um, now after our having the study done by Mr. Speck, we have kind of rethought that, uh, re re that configuration of the streets. Um, we're kind of taking a step backwards, going back in time, where we were gonna uh, make Rimbach Street perpendicular to Homan that would uh, actually, the street would come through the uh, fountain location. Uh, the fountain will be relocated just to the north as a part of a proposed development for mixed uses on that property. And a new um, open space parcel uh, is expected to be created. 
So in order to make that all happen and dealing with the um, conflicting and overlapping legal descriptions, um, it was, um, I determined, to be honest, that it was the best idea to say that we would rezone the current fountain parcel, which is S1 to C3, which is what the rest of the downtown is. Um, at the point in time where we have the new parcel created and the fountain relocated, then the expectation would be is that that new lot would be zoned back to S1, so we have an open space park back in the downtown, just slightly to the north of where it is um, right now. So that's the official presentation. Any questions? Questions for Mr. Poland. I do. Thank you, Mr. Hutton, please. Thank you. Are we talking about when the Lake County Courthouse was on that corner and Rimbach went straight? Well, I mean, that's true, but specifically the, occurred, the change occurred when the Gold Bus Building went. But the, but the Lake County Courthouse was on the south side of that street, yes, where the parking lot is now. Thank you. Excellent question, Mr. Hutton. Thank you. Any other questions for Mr. Poland? Um, okay. So uh, I guess now is the appropriate time to open up public hearing on this uh, action. So uh, the chair would entertain uh, uh, the opening of the public meeting. Is there anyone from the public wishing to speak uh, in favor of this petition? Anyone in the public wishing to speak in opposition of this petition? Anyone from the anybody on Zoom? Anyone from the public wishing to comment on this petition? Is there anyone online? Thank you, uh, Commissioner Dye. Is there anyone online? Uh, uh, from the public wishing to remonstrate on this petition. Being none, I'll close the public hearing portion of this petition. Uh, now for staff uh, report, Mr. Poland. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, as indicated in the presentation, this is uh, pretty much an interim step to uh, deal with the pending changes in the development of the uh, um, Holman Avenue and Ribach uh, intersection and the future development that's going to occur there. Therefore, um, staff does recommend that the Planning Commission forward the petition to the City Council with a favorable recommendation and if the Planning Commission agrees with the recommendation, the staff requests that this report is adopted by the Planning Commission as preliminary findings of fact. Questions for Mr. Poland as staff? Questions for Mr. Poland? Uh, being none, the chair would entertain a motion to uh, approve this petition uh, and forward a copy of this petition to the City Council with a favorable recommendation. Is there such a motion? Motion to approve. Commissioner uh, Dye makes a motion to approve. Is there a second? A second. Thank you, Commissioner Taylor. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to uh, make a favorable re recommendation to the City Council on this petition. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Mrs. Morris Smith, roll call on the motion. Roger Brock? Yes. Michael Dye? Yes. Ann Herbert? Yes. William Hutton? Yes. Thomas Kazmierzak? Yes. Dan Spitali? Yes. Marcus Taylor? Yes. Dean Button? Yes. Eight ayes, zero nays, zero abstentions, motion passed. Thank you, Mrs. Morris Smith. The chair would also entertain a motion that uh, the plan commission agree with the uh, findings in the uh, staff report and that we adopt the staff report um, as a preliminary finding of fact. Is there such a motion? I would like to make that motion. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Commissioner Hutton, for uh, making a, uh, that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Commissioner Brock. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to uh, support the uh, staff report as preliminary finding of fact. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call on the motion. Roger Brock? Yes. Michael Dye? Yes. Ann Herbert? Yes. William Hutton? Yes. Thomas Kazmierzak? Yes. Vance Vitale? Yes. Marcus Taylor? Yes. Dean Button? Yes. Eight ayes, zero nays, zero abstentions, motion passed. Thank you, Mrs. Morris-Smith. Uh, very much appreciated to staff for this action. 
Uh, next item on the agenda is, well, I guess I should ask, is there any other new business? Uh, no, new, no more new business. Excellent. Uh, next item on the agenda is correspondence. No correspondence. <clears throat> uh, do you want to bring up the schedule? Well, I was going to do that under staff okay. comments, but. Okay. Uh, uh, item seven is commissioner comments. Uh, Mr. President, I just yes. like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank you, Commissioner Dye. I think uh, it goes for all of us at the board to wish uh, Merry Christmas to each other and those attending. And to our favorite videographer, Jake Jacobs. Thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda is uh, staff comments. Uh, in your packet, you do have the 2022 meeting schedule. Um, as typical, we do have the uh, Tuesday meetings on in January and February. Um, and depending upon what happens in November and December, we may we always reserve the, both the Monday and Tuesday nights for 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 those two months. The one difference this year um, is in June. Um, we now have uh, the Juneteenth holiday that will be celebrated on the 20th, the, the day after June 19th, and that will push uh, the plan commission meeting to that Tuesday. So, um, so just be aware of those changes. Uh, those of you that follow this meeting um, electronically, uh, beginning in the January meeting, the uh, meeting ID and the passcodes are all different, so just uh, pay attention to that when it, uh, um, with, with all the meeting notices that we are using um, new. Change. Oh, was it? Was oh, that was for the BZA? Mm -hmm. uh, the passcode's different, because it was just, there was no passcode. Had that for a couple months. Okay, all right, well, I stand corrected on that point. Um, so continue to use that one. Um, and then, of course, I would also say to everybody, you know, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, Mr. Boland. Uh, item number nine is public comment. Is there anyone in the public wishing to address the Planning Commission? Seeing none, uh, the chair also would uh, wish everyone a happy holidays and would entertain a motion for adjournment. Make a motion. Thank you. Second. Second. Councilman Spitali, seconded by Commissioner Hutton. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. We're adjourned. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>